And we are getting a reaction to today's shocking turn of events. CBS 4's Eric Graves talked to a judge not affiliated with the case. He joins us now in the studio. So, Eric, what is that judge saying about the future of the case? and appointing new public defenders. Yeah, there are a lot of questions here. The decision today by Richard Allen's attorneys to back out has created even more questions about the future of this case. Fisher City Judge Dan Hinkey says the afternoon's events aren't unprecedented, but they are unusual. Today marks a new era in the Delphi double murder case. The main suspect in the deaths of Abby Williams and Libby German is now without counsel, and it will be up to Judge Fran Goal to appoint attorneys. The judge is going to have to find, first of all, two experienced attorneys, preferably two attorneys who've known each other and worked with each other in the past. But Fisher City Court Judge Dan Hinkey, who is not associated with the case, says the list of attorneys qualified for this will be an exclusive one. They're going to be asked to devote a significant amount of their practice time to the preparation and defense of this case for several months, if not a year. Location will also be a factor. The trial will be held in Carroll County where the crime took place and the defendant, Richard Allen, is in Westville Correctional Facility in northern Indiana. They have to maintain contact with their client and that is going to have to be face to face so there's travel time as well. Hinky says these public defenders won't be the traditional ones who take on cases as they're assigned to them. These attorneys will be contract public defenders who accept or decline the judge's request. They may be private attorneys who don't regularly do public defender work, but will do this on contract basis. As Judge Fran Goal said Thursday afternoon, she does expect the former counsel to pass on the work they've already done to the new counsel, including the defense's theory that Odinism played a factor in Abby and Libby German's deaths. New counsel will have to evaluate that, though, independently and decide, do we want to continue with that strategy or do we want to try a different strategy? In the Frank's hearing, part of the motion by the defense to suppress certain items of evidence from the investigation. Even though the defense team that filed the motion to suppress is now gone, that motion is still out there. Judge Hinkey says it'll be up to the new counsel if they want to proceed with that motion. In the studio, Eric Graves, CBS 4 News. So much uncertainty surrounding the case right now. CBS 4 will follow all the developments in the Delphi murder case. You can find our continuing coverage online at CBS4Indy.com. Just look for our stories right there at the front of our homepage.